So the low hanging fruit with H. pylori is going to be getting enough stomach acid. Hydrochloric acid is super, super important when it comes to H. pylori. Now, it's a double-edged sword with H. pylori because with H. pylori, your gut lining could be a lot thinner. It could be a lot more inflamed due, due to its inflammation. So hydrochloric acid is like, it's like trying to get a massage for your back pain or an adjustment for your back pain when you have a sunburn. Like you may need it. It may be the right thing, but it may be too much for the amount of inflammation that's present in your body. So we, it's really important that you work with a clinician to have this kind of dialed in. So we may come in with very low dose on hydrochloric acid or maybe even not. Maybe just use some gentle bitters or enzymes to support the digestive process and then assess how much inflammation, make sure there's no bleeding, make sure we add in things to kind of cool off the gut before we do anything on the acidic side. And everyone's a little bit different, so it just depends. I'm always erring on the side of talking to the general public in doing things that aren't gonna set you up for more pain or more inflammation, and then work with a clinician that can help individualize things as you start to stabilize. Yeah. Nausea is another symptom I forgot to mention. Yeah. What about you? Do you have any other symptoms? I mentioned the gas, bloating, burping. Yeah. So your gas, your bloating, your constipation, your diarrhea, anytime enzymes or acids are affected, motility can be affected. And then of course you have, there's a couple of studies out there saying, hey, look at these symptoms of H. pylori. They have nothing to do with digestive symptoms. These are mood issues, depression, anxiety, cognitive issues. So you can have a lot of issues that aren't H. pylori driven and they can be mood and emotional and cognitive stuff. And this is hard because people are kind of like indoctrinated to think, oh, I have to have acid burning. I have to have stomach pain. I have to have an ulcer for H. pylori to be a problem. And you may not have no symptoms at all connected to digestion. Yeah, absolutely. I had depression. I had anxiety. I had panic episodes. Right. I mean, I was a wreck when I had H. pylori. So I can agree and attest to the fact that, yes, there probably are some right. cognitive psycho emotional stuff involved and you know your your counselor is not going to tell you to go get a stool test for your depression exactly yep and that's an important part and why does this happen what's the mechanism well the mechanism is pretty simple i think if we don't have enough hydrochloric acid if we don't have enough digestive support we have to break down these amino acids right so think of like a necklace you're wearing think of that as protein right if we were to break each pearl off of that necklace those are amino acids and essentially, digestive-wise, we have to break those little pearls up so we can utilize, assimilate, and absorb them. And then, of course, in our body, they get converted into a lot of our neurochemicals. Serotonin is going to be tryptophan or 5-HTP. Tyrosine will get converted to dopamine and, and adrenaline and norepinephrine. And then you're going to have some of these amino acids convert to GABA, which will help you relax and wind down. So we have to essentially take this necklace and break each individual pearl off so we can digest it, absorb, and assimilate.